I just finished a video where I showed how to install FL Studios manually. And maybe that's not the best way to show it, even though showing that you can do things manually is the best way. Sometimes it's better just to show the easiest way for the new Linux users. And we're going to be doing that right now using Lutris. So with Lutris, you can click the plus button. You can search for an application in its library, basically a script that someone set up to get something working. And then you're able to do what I'm doing right here. As you can see, we're able to download everything needed to get FL Studios working. FL Studios is something that is required by Tech Syndicate to be able to use Linux. And I wanted to make a video to show them how easy it is to get this working, that anyone can do it. Lutris is a very standardized app that is available in all distros. So you don't have to worry about not having it. It's also available via flat plug. Uh, flat pack just in case you want it in a container and contained you can do that and this install is going to take some time oh no well it's not because it's going to skip everything but sit back and enjoy the view Well, it looks like it's finished, which is really good. And we're going to see if this does what it should. Well, what it did the last time anyway, uh, which it worked. But I don't know if I should let this sit or not or just kill it. It doesn't really need it to run. So I don't I don't know. I'm going to pause here and see if it just works. Well, as again, uh, again, as I said, it's not needed, so uh, we're just going to come over here. And we're going to hit the delete button and kill it. And now it's installing again. So we're going to hit next, next, finish. <clears throat> and that hopefully should be it. Now, if you're noticing something, the installation process is exited with the bad code. Please do not change the install location, blah, blah, blah. This sucks. We're going to hit abort. We're going to cancel this. And then we're going to go here. Add locally installed game. Type FL Studio. We're going to select the runner's wine. We're going to set the year as 2024. We are going to go to game options. And what we're going to do is we're going to head in to the FL Studio thing. So it's your home directory. So home games fl studio drive program files image line and then you're going to select fl64 set this to 64 bit you don't need to but i do it all the time choose whatever version of wine that you have installed so if you have wine staging go for it if you have wine 9.12 go for it I have multiple versions. If you need to get other versions, you can go grab a tool called Proton Plus. You can go to Lutris and you can click here. And there's 9.12. And hit save. Then when we hit play, it's going to start up the process of configuration. We're going to minimize this. And as you can see, the, uh, the orange dong box that pops up. And yeah, look at all that. Fruity edition, all plugins edition, you name it. Just exit that. Because I'm not letting it select my audio at the moment. And we're going to just click all and here you are. It's done. It's finished. It works. Whether it fully works or not is determined by a user who actually fully can utilize this as a whole. Uh, I don't know anything about plugins, but we're going to go grab one and see if it works. Okay. Aha, look at that. They all showed up. Nice. So we did a thing. Very, very good. We did a thing. 
Did we have to add those in though? So I'm guessing we just now have to do a refresh on the plugins and they should install. Yes, they did. Look, they freaking installed. So now we're going to grab a sound. I'm doing the best I can. Don't judge me, okay? Come on, man. I don't deserve that. I'm going to move that all the way over. We're going to listen to it real quick. Is that the wrong play button? Uh, oops. We hit play. Track one. Where's the friggin' play button on this thing? I mean, I see a play button up there, but it's not, it's not playing up here. Is there another play button that I have to play? Right. No audio device, probably. Yeah. Well, it's going to be hard to do, but I've installed stuff. Uh, Ubermod? I don't know. Where do I, what do I do with this? I just drag and drop this over here. I don't know. Do I uh, do that? Oh, it started. It did a thing. Side note before we give up, I managed to get it to work. See this? Yes. And the best part is can you hear the extra tapping? So it's pretty clear that I got this to work. Vintage verb. Oh, look at that. It just instantly starts working. That's pretty cool. See, we're able to do things. Ooh. This probably sounds horrible, but that actually sounded pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So, yes, T plugins do work. So maybe there is hope for Tech Syndicate after all when it comes to uh, Linux and using it properly. Lutris is the key. All right, I'm gonna cut the video here. Clearly this does work and this does function. And I'm sure many people can get their plugins to work. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it's 16 minutes long. I'll try to add, you know, things, uh, timestamps for you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, subscribe and like the video. I hope you found it useful and all this other stuff. And I'll see you next time.